ladies and gentlemen, more terminations in connection with Tyree Nichols' death. So apparently there were more people on the scene that failed to do their jobs and they got fired right along with the police officers. Two Memphis Fire Department personnel relieved of duty in connection with Tyree Nichols' death. Remember, nobody rendered any first aid to him. So all these people are up at the scene around him and not one person tried to do any first aid to help this young man. And you can tell the media don't have nothing on him because if there were all kinds of police uh, rap sheets or anything like that, they would have been told you. They wouldn't hesitate to tell you that about a black man. Two Memphis, Tennessee fire department personnel were relieved of duty while an internal investigation was conducted into the death of Tyree Nichols, a black man who died days after a traffic stop. Memphis Fire Department spokesperson Quanisha Ward said the employees were involved in the initial patient care of Nichols, but did not provide further details. This is an ongoing investigation and we cannot comment further at this time. Ward said in a statement Monday, the department did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Nichols, 29 years old, was stopped by Memphis police on January 7th for reckless driving. The department said details about what happened after the stop remains unclear. Well, they're going to have to release the body cam footage sooner or later. The police said there was a confrontation between Nichols and the officers as they approached his car. Nichols allegedly ran away and officers pursued him. While attempting to take the suspect into custody, another confrontation occurred. However, the suspect was ultimately apprehended, according to a January 8th police statement. Afterwards, the suspect complained of having shortness of breath, which at the time an ambulance was called to the scene. Authorities gave no details about the alleged confrontation. Nichols was taken to the hospital in critical condition and died. On January 10th, a photo released by the family showed Nichols in a hospital bed with blood on his face and swollen eyes. The family attorney, Ben Crump, said what happened to Nichols remain, reminded him of the 1991 beating of Rodney King by the LAPD. What we can tell you about the video, it is appalling. It is deplorable. It is heinous, violent, Crump said, and is very troublesome. troublesome on every level because you have to ask yourself yet again, we're seeing evidence of what happens to black people from simple traffic stops. Yeah, you know, y'all, we're looking at all of this in real time today, but just remember, we didn't all have cell phones back in the day. The cell phone is still a pretty recent thing that we have. So can you imagine the police stops that occurred and body cam footage didn't have to be released? I mean, this has been going on for a very, very long time. Okay. The Memphis Police Department said in a Twitter statement Monday that it is working with the district attorney's office to determine the appropriate time to release the video recordings publicly. In addition to the fire department personnel who were relieved of duty, five police officers involved with the traffic stop were fired after an administrative investigation found they violated uh, department policies. So this is according to the police chief, C.J. Davis. 
they were identified as Tadarius Bean, Demetrius Haley, Emmett Martin III, Desmond Mills Jr., and Justin Smith. The Department of Justice and FBI Memphis Field Office also announced a civil rights investigation into the traffic stop. So look like the DOJ is getting involved in um, Tyree Nichols' case. And they should be. For what happened to him, there's no way he should have ended up dead over a traffic stop. It is just ridiculous, just this whole thing. And, and just think about when he was beaten up and on the ground struggling to breathe, if you count the five cops and two people from the fire department, that was seven people there and not one person tried to give him first aid. You know, you know what it is? They were hoping that when these situations come up, you'll just lay there and bleed out or you'll just die right there at the scene. That's why, you know, I even seen this same pattern back with Mike Brown. We seen the same thing even with um, Tamir Rice. They don't give black men first aid. It is very rare. Most of the time when they kill you or tase you and all that stuff, they just let you lay there and offer nothing. They do the Amber Geiger thing, you know, walk away and, and act like you're not important enough to do first aid on, because that's what she did to both of them, John. But y'all, please tell me what you think about these uh, latest two fire department personnel who were at the scene and they have been terminated along with the five police officers. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.